You found this podcast probably because you know a little bit about our ministry called Time of Grace and our passion about connecting people to God through all kinds of media. Well, did you know that we do a lot more besides just television and podcasting? If you check out our website, timeofgrace.org, you're going to find tons of ways to learn about the good news of Jesus, from daily written devotions to daily video devotions, tons of podcasts, blogs, our Bible basic series called Bible Breath, and books and books and resources and more resources to help you in your walk with God. So if you're interested in any of that, just go to timeofgrace.org. What an incredible summer I had, filled with blessings that I enjoyed with my wife. We stood on top of mountains in Alaska. We stood at the foot of Burj Khalifa, the tallest structure in the world in Dubai. We gazed in awe and wonder at Victoria Falls, one of the natural wonders of the world in Zimbabwe. And yet after all those things we saw this last summer, we saw even better things than that. I saw my dear friend, pastor, and former classmate faithfully serving his very generous and kind people at his church just outside Anchorage, Alaska. And I saw little children singing and and jumping for joy at their soccer Bible camp and their vacation Bible school there in Alaska. And I saw faithful American missionaries with my own eyes. I saw them training African native people to be leaders and pastors to share the good news of Jesus with their fellow Africans. And I met a wonderful African woman named Annie. And Miss Annie took care of us every night and cleaned up after us and she made delicious food for us every night. And I met Zambian men and women and children who worshiped in the kinds of joyful ways that that we Americans could only dream of. As I experienced all of these things this summer, If anything, I gained perspective. And there's a verse that really summarizes this I want to share with you. It's in Ephesians chapter 4. Here's what it says. There's one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. What a glorious thing that we have one God over heaven and earth, who has given us these beautiful mountains and rivers and valleys and oceans to enjoy. But even better, how gracious is our God that he so loved this entire world that he sent his son for all of us, for rich and for poor, for young and for old, for male and female, for black and white and everything in between, for Americans, for Africans, for everybody. Our God is so gracious that he has this love for us all. Do you have things weighing you down right now? I know I do. I I get tunnel vision in life, like like a horse with blinders on, focused on my life and my problems and all of my things. If you're feeling that way right now, I want you to think about your brothers and sisters in Christ, in our one faith, all around the world. They're going through the same thing. But as you think about your fellow brothers and sisters, I want you to think about this too. Even though you may never meet many of them, one day, one day you will see them all face to face. When you see your own Savior face to face in his glorious eternal kingdom. The Bible tells us to have our minds set on things above, not on earthly things. Friends, this is where you find happiness. This is where there's true contentment. With the encouragement of your fellow brothers and sisters around the world, Set your heart on things above and you will be happy, you will be content every single day.